Update 3 on Major Hurricane Patricia, which is located off the coast of Mexico with winds of 200 miles per hour and a pressure of 880 millibars. The strongest storm pretty much that we've ever seen, moving north-northwest at 12 miles per hour. Its position is 17.3 degrees north, 105.6 degrees west as of 12 p.m. UTC on October 23rd. The storm is expected possibly to intensify yet more, believe it or not, before making landfall in Mexico and we expect this landfall now to be undoubtedly a category 5 landfall so everyone along the coast of Mexico there um, south of Preda Velada should be preparing for the absolute worst because it appears that that is exactly what's going to happen there's no two ways about it there's no way to um, to, to, um, to downplay it at all uh, it does appear to be one of the strongest landfalls we'll be seeing um, if not worldwide than on the Mexican coastline certainly. The warnings from earlier on this morning have remained the same. Hurricane warnings in effect from San Blas to Punta San Telmo. Hurricane watches in effect from Punta San Telmo southwards to Lazaro Cadenas as well as a tropical storm warning in effect for that same area. Um, anywhere within the hurricane warning area could receive hurricane force winds um, around at Jalisco and Colima, we may possibly see the worst of the storm, uh, probably the former. Sea surface temperatures are very warm right now, around 30 degrees Celsius, um, and that's going to remain the case all the way up until landfall. Might even warm up a little bit before that landfall, um, so certainly no signs of the storm weakening before this happens, I'm afraid, um, except perhaps a little bit briefly before uh, the landfall, but due to land interaction. Wind shear is very low around the storm immediate, its immediate vicinity, but it is high to the north um, and it will probably begin to increase as the storm moves closer to land. There it is on water vapor imagery, dry air well off to the northwest. Uh, the, sh the storm appears to be shielded by that by one of its own spiral bands, um, so it doesn't appear that dry air will slow it down either. Computer models, the storm's track, that's what it looks like there. The track apparently calls for the storm to move through Mexico um, and Texas as well uh, and not actually move out over the coastline. So it appears that any chance of regeneration is going to be um, extinguished there. Um, here's another graphic showing the storm's likely to make landfall as a Category 5, or definitely a Cat 4. Uh, but it, it appears to me that the storm will make landfall near its peak intensity, unfortunately, which is going to be rather a rather dramatic landfall there um, in Mexico. Here's the floater imagery, the latest imagery of the storm as it's been progressing towards the northwest. You can definitely see which direction it's been moving. Um, and I do wonder, with that eye appears to be shrinking there, I wonder whether... Um, that there might have to be something else going on like an eyewall replacement coming up in the not too distant future who knows um, but it doesn't appear that that's going to be happening at the moment because look at the eyewall around that very small looking eye there um, it's remarkable the only storm that I've seen like this is high Ann, um, and for its wind speed of 200 miles an hour that I've never seen before um, except in some 1950s typhoon names which may or may not be true so there's Patricia. Olaf has re-strengthened into a Category 3 in the Central Pacific with winds of 115 miles per hour. Champy still a Cat 2 and that's weakening rather quickly now uh, as well as 26W uh, which dissipated yesterday evening and Invest 92S uh, in the Southern Indian Ocean. That's what, what, we got, what we've got active at this time. There have been 81 storms that have formed so far in 2015 around the world. 46 have gone on to become Category 1 hurricanes with winds of uh, 74 miles per hour or higher. And 33 have gone on to become Category 3 storms with winds of 33, uh, sorry, with winds of 115 miles per hour or higher. Um, that's 2015 in 26th place uh, in the world standings for amount of storms. You can follow Force 13 on any of its outlets, the website force13.com and its tracker, the main place to stay up to date. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13, all in text on there. You can also add Fool 13 on Skype for tropical weather chat at any time. We're going live again as, as well this afternoon, or what, this morning, whatever time it is at your place, uh, in just less than an hour. That's going to be 1pm UTC. We will be live on October the 23rd, and this will be my live event, last live event for a while, because uh, I'll be on vacation. But that's all for now.